In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of your Epson Workforce 2860 all-in-one printer. So we are going to install the setup in cartridges. We will do the initial setup, then we will do the wireless setup, and we will add in a Windows laptop for wireless printing and scanning. So, so let's start with the setup process. So remove the protective tape. lift the ink chamber it will hold itself press it down and it will close plug in the power cable power cable is here press the power button Let's do the initial setup. So go to the printer display panel. Select your language. So this is a touch screen printer. Select the time and season. Enter the date. Select the time format, enter the time, next step is to install the setup ink cartridges, 4 ink cartridges and ink cartridge number is 202, so you have to remove the ink cartridge, take the ink cartridge out of the plastic packaging. Also remove this yellow seal and just do it for all the four ink cartridge. Lift it from this side. Let's start with the black. Place it here and press it down. You may hear a little lock, lock sound that means it is installed properly. Install all the four ink cartridges. Press the door down and it should close the ink chamber itself. Click on the installed on the printer control panel. It's going to take around 5 minutes for the ink system to start. So ink system has started. Now start the print quality adjustment. Select adjust recommended. Click on the print. Install the pages in the paper tray. So there is a cassette paper tray at the bottom so slide it out adjust the size load the paper tray click on the print paper output tray is here so you can just take it out let's see the result so we can see the lines are printed correctly so we can just select the correct option here next step is to adjust recommended again so click on the print on this page you have to select the correct box for example if the box 4 is printed really good you have to select 4 and click proceed hash 2 you have to select like number 6 so it depends whatever is printed correctly you have to select that number once it is done click on the proceed and print so it's going to print the last page on this printout we have to find a rectangle without overlapping for example here I can see the best is number 6 and click on the proceed and press OK. So print head is print head setup is complete press OK. Now confirm the page size you have installed. 
so we have already installed the correct size that is the letter size with the plain paper so press ok if you want you can set up hex with this printer right now or you can set up later confirm here we can see the main screen of our printer and we can start using it for the copy function if you want to do the wireless printing and scanning then we have to start the wireless setup of this printer before doing the wireless setup i'll just let you know about some features of this printer so this is all in one printer you can do the copy print scan and fax cassette paper tray can hold up to 150 sheets and on the top you have the adf tray which you can use to scan multiple pages it can scan up to 30 pages and fax up to 30 pages let's do the wireless setup for that we have to connect this printer with the wi-fi network of the home scroll ahead select the settings click on the general settings select network settings select wi-fi setup select wi-fi recommended start setup wi-fi setup wizard that is the first option we are going to use today you can also use push button wps method if you have a wi-fi router with a wps button easiest way is to go to the wi-fi setup wizard select your wi-fi network so scroll down enter its password you can use the touch panel to apply the password click on the start setup Wi-Fi setup is complete so that's the wireless setup if you want you can update your printer press ok you can also connect to the Epson connect services you can click yes Wi-Fi setup is complete so press ok now go to the home button you will see the main screen with the wireless signal on the top next step is to add this printer in your laptop macbook or a smartphone so i'm just going to use my windows laptop in the windows laptop you have to go to the web browser type in epson workforce 2860 driver and then enter in the Epson website, select your printer name. You will see your printer photo. Scroll down. It will also display your windows and the drivers to download. Click on the drivers and utility combo package installer. Download. Open this file. Click yes click ok that's the absent download window to install the drivers agree with the terms and conditions select the software I'm just deselecting couple of them click on the install select all the softwares and click install yes Printer setup is complete. Next, select wireless connection, first option, and click next. You also have option, the printer is already on my wireless network, so you have to select second option. Wait for the printer to appear. Click next. Next. Click on the print test page. Click on the next. You can do the fax setup now or you can do it later. So I'm just going to do later. Click next. Update your printer. Yes. Click next. agree with the update and click next 
अपडेट इज डन क्लिक ऑन द फिनिश सो वी हैव जस्ट अपडेटेड एंड इज एंड इंस्टॉल्ड अवर प्रिंटर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू डू द प्रिंटिंग एंड स्कैनिंग विद दिस प्रिंटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू डू द स्कैनिंग आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू प्लेस अ पेज ऑन द ए डी एफ ट्रे प्लेस द पेज इज फेसिंग अ बर्ड लाइक दिस एडजस्ट द साइज गो टू द सर्च एंड टाइप इन एप्सन स्कैन टू ओपन दिस in this app you have to find your printer so it should be showing up here if you don't see you can scroll down and select it if you want to make any changes you can make the changes from here once you are ready click on the scan button scan is transferred and you should be able to look your file in this page double click on it and we can see that's our scan this way we can do the scanning if you want to do the printing you have to select any document you want to print on this page you can select your print you can select if you want a color print print on both sides and then click on the print button paper output tray is here So that's the print quality. So it has printed. And if you want to increase the print quality, you can just do the alignment of this ink cartridges in the printer. This way we can do the complete setup of this printer and then we can start using it with the Windows laptop for wireless printing and scanning because it has a fax option. So if you want to use it for the office, you can use that. And if you want to use it at home, even then it's a good printer. Thanks for watching.